morning. Happy Thursday, you guys. We're almost through the week. Today's an inside day for me. I did pretty much all the errands I wanted to get done outside yesterday, including shipping off all your orders. So today, it's gonna be a day in the house. I hope you guys don't mind spending the day indoors with me and just seeing what a typical Thursday is like for me. Um, first things first, I am making a couple of social media posts on my Instagram. Instagrams, okay, I have actually four Instagram accounts that I run. So um, I will try to list them on the screen here. You can definitely follow me depending on what you're interested in. It is a little bit difficult, I would say, managing four, but it's also fun and um, I do enjoy it. So, you know, I try my best to keep up. A lot of you have been enjoying my content on my main Instagram page though. I've been posting a lot more reels and, you know, showing the humorous side of the after of the divorce so i'm glad that you guys have been enjoying it you know i mentioned in my divorce story that i choose not to speak about these things while in litigation but now that the ink is dry girl i'm just sharing my story and little bits and pieces of you know all the tea over there so i'm glad that you guys are you know finding the humor with me girl i mean i will say that my ex is just like leave me alone i've literally blocked him on everything <laughs> okay let me start from the beginning first of all you know once i figured out everything that i needed to do with my lawyer which did not involve be needing to contact him i blocked him on text messages and whatsapp i also blocked him on my facebook and my instagram account because you know i just don't feel like he needs access to me like he's he that's done like i just don't feel that he deserves access to me so once I blocked him on Facebook, he actually sent multiple requests to Mama Daly to add her, which she declined. <laughs> I was like, I'm pretty sure I told you guys about that already. Mama Daly was so funny with it. Uh, so I just found humor in that. And then I blocked him on my Instagram account. Keep in mind, I told you I have four Instagram accounts, right? I thought I could just block him on the main one because they're all linked. So anyways, I blocked him on my main Instagram account. Didn't he show up? on marley's instagram like hello sir who do you think runs marley's page do you think she's really tapping with her paws herself no so i blocked him on that blocked him on daily decor blocked him on support assistant blocked him on all of my instagram accounts one by one blocked him on my facebook account and then he started liking posts on my facebook page because you know how you ha you have a personal facebook account and then you have your page like when you have a brand or whatever <sighs> So again, had to block him on the brand page. You know, and I, I thought that I had pretty much covered everything, but lo and behold, doesn't he send a business email? Like, I don't know how else to get, like take the hint, you know what I mean? You've literally been blocked on every avenue. I don't need you sending me an email to tell me you love me. I don't need you to tell me, send me an email to tell me you're sorry for what you did. Like, I don't need an email. I don't need anything, you know what I mean? So if nothing else, he is providing humorous content because at this point, it's an LOL thing. You're a joke, sir, you know? So I've been sharing some of that over on my Instagram <laughs> and um, having a good time doing it, if I might add. Anyways, now I'm going to answer a few emails before we head downstairs. So let me get through these emails real quick and then we'll go downstairs together. Oh, I don't even know if you guys noticed that I did my nails. Um, you guys will not even believe me when I tell you this is the first time that I've ever done a plain white French tip. Like, how basic am I? Oh my god, you guys. I just felt like being basic. <laughs> felt like being a little bit basic. Alright, we're back downstairs. Let's go say good morning to the princess. Good morning, princess princess of the house do you want to tell everybody what a bad girl you were last night do you want to tell them that you bit your mother because she was trying to clean your face and you were not having it do you want to tell them yeah that's what i thought you see these picking them ungrateful af okay anyways into my kitchen you guys I need to clean up. I actually cooked pretty late last night. I made rasta pasta, 
with some jerk chicken and I have lots of pots and pans to clean. So I'm gonna do that, but first I thought I would give you a couple of quick updates because a couple of my plants, y'all, a couple of my plants you have not been updated on. All right, we'll start with Nancy. Nancy, as you can see, is stretching so much. She has five vines now. One, two, three, four, five. She had three when I got her. So Nancy's doing great. Holly the hoe is like three times the size of when I brought her home from Ikea. You guys are not gonna believe this update, but my neighbors are now just my neighbor, singular. Look at how huge the coleus grew. So huge, in fact, that he killed <laughs> the roots of the Transcandia that was also in there. They lived so harmoniously together for so long, but I took too long to separate them. So unfortunately, this guy took over and was like, no, not enough space. I'm going to boot you out. So now I only have one neighbor, but I mean beautiful isn't it like he's just so gorgeous love him hey, excuse me pick me may not chat to you right now mr d has a new leaf that has opened it still has a little bit of uncurling to do but you can see the newest leaf there so yeah he's doing fine even though he had the little tumble as you can see his post is right here so he's being held up and he's nice and secure and still growing. So thank goodness for that. Rango is not doing well at all. I actually moved Rango to this spot to try to give him a little more light. But yeah, he's he's droopy and wilty and not doing well. So I'm going to keep an eye on him. Franco, on the other hand, you guys, doing amazing. He grew, he has four new stalks. As a matter of fact, this is the newest one. It's already opened or in the process of opening. Um, and then you can see these three right here. Haven't opened yet, but they're starting to open a little bit at the tips. It's giving Grinch fingers. Love that for him. Um, yeah, I think those are the updates. Those are all the plant updates. But I do wanna let you guys know that Zoe is a zebra prayer plant. I get so many questions as to what kind of plant she is. She is a zebra prayer plant get you one okay so let me go ahead and change the water in my in my beautiful grocery store flowers Ready for my day it's so bright outside y'all come on adjust there we go it's so bright outside you guys today is extremely windy like it's scary windy i saw <laughs> i think it's the neighbor across the street their garbage bin rolled down the street i mean i wasn't gonna go chase it but like i watched it roll by it's so windy and like it really sounds like the roof is gonna come off peeking outside the roof looks fine so yeah Anyways, um, I put a little bit of a face on. This is my no foundation or concealer look, which I did record. So if you're interested, you could check that out. And today I'm gonna record, see that gift bag right there? Those are all my birthday presents. I got a couple of pretty cool things I think some of you might be interested in. So I figured I would go ahead and, you know, record a, a haul, a birthday present haul. So that's what I'm about to do. I'm going to be wearing my new earrings. I showed you guys the other ones, right? Oh, the other ones are in my room, the bamboo ones, the wooden bamboo print, and these are the African print or kente, kente print that I was telling you guys about. Kind of obsessed with my new earrings, you guys. New in shop. There we go. It's kind of hard for me to do anything with these nails. I'm still not used to the length, but. I love them. I love them so much. These are so cute, you guys. 
Okay, so I'm not sure, should I leave my hair in a bun? I mean, this is a messy bun, but I could make it look neater. My birthday braids are still going strong. I got these done on March 4th. I believe I did them right before my birthday, which was on the 8th. Um, so my plan is to wear them until April 4th, making it a full month. Almost time, y'all. It's almost time. They still look great. The braids themselves still look great. I do have quite a bit of uh, new growth. If you can see which is obviously more apparent because the braids are not black but i'm still really really loving them i love being a redhead i finished recording my birthday present haul um my next order of business is to get some restocking done so i'm gonna head downstairs into my workspace and restock the head wraps so i think that's what i'm going to be working on for the rest of the afternoon nothing too exciting but if you've been waiting for them you can check it out link below head wraps are officially restocked and now it's finally time for lunch i'm only getting around to lunch at 4 54 p.m bad habit i know i'm gonna have soup this is actually some chicken soup that i made when did i make this on tuesday so this is what's left of it. It's got chicken, dumplings, yam, potato, carrots. It's got everything, it's delicious. So I'm gonna have that and I'm gonna make a salad to go with it. Lunch was delicious. I actually ate while I watched um, RuPaul's Drag Race. I'm currently watching UK vs. The World, and I have one episode left, so, you know, the grand finale or whatever, the final episode, so I'm gonna take a break and edit. So I will definitely be up here for a while, but um, I need to start editing because I'm attempting to do Veda. Attempting, I just, I don't know. I always like to challenge myself um, with the vlog every day months because I just enjoy a challenge, a personal challenge. But this month, if I'm being honest, I'm just not feeling overly inspired. So I just don't know what I'm going to be putting up. Like, I just don't know. It is uh, 6.07. So let's start editing. It's 9 p.m. I've been editing for hours now. And I have made the decision not to do VEDA. Um, I was planning on doing it. I've been talking about doing it throughout March. But now that it is March 31st, it's the day before VEDA starts, I just feel like I don't have enough content prepared and don't have enough content planned um, to really do a successful VEDA. And I don't want to be the type of vlogger that just comes on here and uploads boring you know subpar content just to have content like i like for my vlogs to be enjoyable my videos to be enjoyable and to have purpose so i'm not going to overexpose myself what i do think i will do is instead of uploading every day is to upload an extra video per week so right now you guys may have noticed that i'm doing tuesdays and saturdays this year um since 2022 started so I'm going to add an extra day in there and you will see me Tuesdays, Thursdays and Saturdays for the month of April. I think that is a compromise that I am happy with and um, yeah, I'm a little disappointed in myself, but at the same time, you know, I want to be realistic with my goals and what I what I'm able to do and accomplish. So with that being said, I am done for the evening here. It's 9 p.m. Um, I'm going to go make dinner. I have some leftover Rasta pasta. I'm just going to turn that into a meal. It's not much, so I'm gonna bake some more chicken to go with it and a couple of veggies. Try to make a meal out of nothing. I've got this huge sweet potato, a couple pieces of chicken, and add that to my pasta, and that's gonna be dinner. Dinner of leftovers. All right, guys, my after dinner project is my chalkboard. Tomorrow is actually 
it is it's after midnight now so it's officially april 1st it's been real me and keisha really enjoyed our birthday month but it's time to welcome spring 